7567, later and better known by his nickname Rex, was like the rest of his clone brothers, created from the genetic template of the Mandalorian bounty hunter Jango Fett on the planet Kamino. He was amongst the first generation of clones created for the Grand Army of the Republic. Grown to be among the greatest soldiers in the galaxy, a leader, Rex was given additional command training and was promoted to be a clone captain in the Grand Army of the Republic. Like other clone trooper officers, Rex was given ARC training. After his training was complete, Rex was assigned command of the 501st Legion's Torrent Company. Throughout his career, Rex proved to be an effective leader who truly cared for the men under his command. Even as he began to doubt his own future and those of his clone brethren in the Republic, his leadership was put to the ultimate test at the Battle of Umbara, when he was forced to lead the 501st Legion under the obstinate and aggressive Jedi General Pong Krell, who is secretly a Separatist agent. Rex's experiences with Krell forced him to reapprise his rigid adherence to orders. However, this had not been the first time Rex had questioned his purpose and orders. A notable example had been during the Battle of Seleucami, when he allowed the clone deserter Cut Laquane to stay out of the war. Rex used his combat skills and training to help train local insurgents on Onderon to emancipate their world. Rex's faith in the Republic was sorely tested by events such as the framing of Tano and the murder of his longtime friend and comrade, Fives, who had gone rogue after unearthing an anti-Jedi directive that had been bred into all the Republic's clone troopers. Fives' death led him to uncover his inhibitor chip, which enabled him and his longtime friend, Insoka, to escape Order 66 after the Siege of Mandalore. After living on Salos with fellow clone commanders, Gregor and Wolf, Rex joined the Phoenix Cell and reunited with his old friend, Tano. Rex also became a reliable ally of the Spectre's rebel cell and forged enduring friendships with the great Jedi Purge survivor Kanan Jarrus and his apprentice Ezra Bridger, as well as the rest of the Ghost crew. During his early stages in the Rebellion, Rex would use his skills and knowledge to help advance the Rebel Alliance's cause. He would eventually be promoted to the rank of Commander and fought in the climactic Battle of Endor, which saw the first death of Emperor Palpatine the redemption of his former Jedi General Anakin Skywalker, and the destruction of the second Death Star. Rex served in the Grand Army of the Republic to protect its citizens as part of his loyalty to the Republic. He participated in the First Battle of Geonosis, fighting the Confederacy of Independent Systems' massive forces of battle droids. Rex and his clone troopers fought well and earned veteran status in the Republic Army. Throughout the war, Rex's reputation continued to grow, eventually resulting in the captain becoming considered the hero of the clone army. Despite only being a captain, Rex was assigned leadership of the 501st itself. Rex and his legion were placed under the command of the recently knighted Jedi General Anakin Skywalker, with Rex being assigned as Skywalker's first in command. The clone captain was eager to follow orders, but became less tightly wound in time. He also worked alongside Commander CC2224, Cody, and incidents such as Tabrin. He also came to meet and befriend the clone commando CC5576-39, or Gregor. At some point, Rex gained Jade Eyes on his helmet, which was a combat honor. Rex participated in the Battle of Arantara, but was found wounded and unconscious by General Skywalker. Rex expressed surprise that Skywalker had come back for him, to which Skywalker responded that it should have been him in his place, and that the leader always leads from the front. At another point, Rex and the other clones were confronting a large force of enemies. The clone captain ordered Squad 2 to pick their targets, and, after another clone exclaimed that they were too many opponents, warned Gold 6 to watch their stabilizer. Rex also ordered another individual to watch out for what was happening at their left. Rex, Skywalker, and several of his men undertook a mission to Benglor. There, they ran into a creature that ate several droids and clone troopers below. Rex ordered a retreat, but Clone Trooper Hardcase disobeyed orders and turned his Z6 rotary blaster cannon on the creature. Skywalker later saved Hardcase's life. Rex, along with his 501st, Cody's 7th Sky Corps, and Commander Wolf's 104th Battalion, were sent to Hisin. There, they protected the Hisinans from the Separatist droid army. After Generals Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Plo Koon finished the last of the droids, 
Rex and the rest of the Republic forces continued to protect the Hessenians. Rex and his troops continued to handle the droids, while Cody and Wolf's troops rescued the Hessenian parliament. Sometime after the siege of Hessen, Rex accompanied Skywalker, Kenobi, and Cody, and the rest of the Republic forces in their effort to liberate Kristofsis from Confederate forces under General Horm Losum and Count Dooku's assassin, Asajj Ventress. The captain took part in setting up an ambush on the approaching Separatist forces, but Kenobi and Cody were ambushed themselves. Skywalker rushed his master's aid, with Rex and his men alongside him, fleeing to the rooftop. They hailed off the battle droids until Evac arrived in the form of an LAAT gunship, with the clone trooper Gus removing the commanding tactical droid's head before departing. Rex assisted Cody in performing a robotonomy on the droid's head. It discovered that it contained all of their intelligence, surmising that this meant there was a spy in their midst. Skywalker and Kenobi departed to investigate the Confederate headquarters, hoping this would reveal the spy's identity. Rex and Cody were instructed to conduct their own search at the Republic base. As they were leaving the command center, Cody noticed that someone had left their comm link on. Their entire conversation had just been broadcast to the Separatist spy. Rex spotted someone in the corridor, and he and Cody gave chase. However, they lost him in the busy mess hall. They now realized the spy was a clone. Unable to reach the Jedi as a result of blocked communications, Rex had R2-D2 analyze the communication history to see if anyone had sent any unauthorized transmissions. He noticed irregular wavelengths that were too low and infrequent to be detected normally. Wavelengths that were coming from Sergeant Slick's barracks. They proceeded to question Slick's men, all of whom had an alibi except Chopper, who lied about collecting battle droid fingers. However, Slick slipped when he revealed that he knew the Jedi were gone, drawing the suspicion of the entire group. Slick realized he was blown and fled, evading Rex and Cody, while also blowing up the nearby weapons depot, as well as many of the LAAT gunships and ATT e walkers. Following a lead from Gus and Chopper, Rex and Cody ventured back to the command center. There, they noticed boot prints that trailed up toward the vents. Without a word between them, Rex and Cody devised a trap. Rex pretended to leave the room while Cody stood with his back to Slick's hiding spot, as well as his blaster. Slick slid out of the vents and pointed the weapon at the back of Cody's head, but is shocked to learn that the blaster was empty as Cody took the clip out beforehand. After a short fist fight, Rex and Cody subdued Slick, just as the Jedi returned from their tr fruitless trip to the Separatist headquarters. Skywalker verbally rebuked Slick for placing his brothers at risk, and Slick replied with an attack on the Jedi's enslavement of his brothers, the clones. Despite Slick scorching the entire weapons depot, Rex and Cody noted that they were able to save the heavy cannons. The 501st Legion, initially the 501st Clone Battalion, later redesignated as the 501st Imperial Legion and as the 501st Stormtrooper Legion, nicknamed Vader's Fist, was an elite Stormtrooper Legion under the command of the Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Vader, during the Imperial Era. The Legion predated the Galactic Empire, its origins dating back in the era of the Clone Wars, when the 501st was an elite military battalion of the Clone Troopers in the Grand Army of the Republic. Under the leadership of Jedi General Anakin Skywalker, Jedi Commander Ahsoka Tano, and Clone Commander CT-7567, or Rex, the 501st fought against the Separatist droid army of the Confederacy of Independent Systems. Throughout the conflict, the soldiers of the 501st were known for their courage, unconventional tactics, and loyalty to the Galactic Republic. In the years following the Battle of Atalion, Rex continued to serve in the Rebellion and worked alongside its leaders. Rex, who had since been promoted to the rank of commander, served at the Battle of Endor, fighting to ensure the Emperor Palpatine could never hurt his clone brothers or anyone else ever again. Indeed, the battle proved a major victory to the Rebel Alliance. In addition to the destruction of the second Death Star, Palpatine was killed by no other than Rex's former Jedi General, Anakin Skywalker, who redeemed himself back to the light side of the Force to save his son, Luke Skywalker. The man, now formerly known as Darth Vader, died shortly afterward, and Luke gave him a funeral on Endor.